It goes without saying that you always want to get the best possible price for your cruise. Well, sometimes the cruise gods smile upon you and you get some really great deals. Stick around because I'm going to tell you how we managed to get four cruises for the price of half a cruise. I'm Jeff, and this is Backroads Tourist. We've had an amazing streak of great offers from Princess Cruise Lines lately, and I'm not making this video to brag about them. I'm making this video to show you that sometimes you have to do some things to make those great deals happen. If you just sit and wait for them, you might be sitting and waiting for quite a while. Now let me clear the air about something. When I talk about free cruises, they aren't entirely free. You still have to pay the taxes and the port fees, gratuities, airfare, excursions, and other assorted add-ons. I'm just talking about the basic fare or price of the cabin. It all started in May of 2022. The shutdown was ending and cruise lines were cutting prices to get customers back out on the water. And we found a great deal on a seven day cruise to Alaska out of Seattle on the Crown Princess. The Crown was one of the last princess ships to come back into service and she wasn't in the best shape. She was undergoing engine maintenance and we were informed of this before the cruise. Still, we decided to go because it was such a great deal. We had a fun time, but there were a few problems. The engine issues caused us to miss docking in Ketchikan, and we were late for a couple of other ports. The engine also caused pretty bad vibrations and noise in one of the dining rooms, and one day the power in our stateroom went out for a few hours. But we didn't bang our fists on the customer service desk or demand extra perks or refunds. We knew full well that there were going to be some glitches in this cruise, and we were prepared to roll with them. And we did. After the cruise, we got an email from Princess asking for feedback. We listed the good and the bad, and we reiterated that we understood there might be some problems when we booked the cruise and that we still had a good time. Well, a couple of weeks after that, we received another email letting us know that since there were so many problems on the Crown, Princess was refunding us 50% of our cruise fare in future cruise credit. What that means is that they were giving us half of our money back in the form of a credit that we had to use to book another cruise. So in essence, we got our Alaskan cruise at half price. So we put the future cruise credit toward a 10-day cruise that featured a partial transit of the Panama Canal. Of course, it didn't cover the entire cruise, especially since we wanted to get a balcony cabin, which is pricier than an inside or ocean view cabin. This cruise was on the Caribbean Princess in late February and early March of 2023. Just a few days before the cruise, we got another email from Princess asking us if we'd be interested in accepting a move over offer. Here was the deal. If we gave up our balcony cabin and moved over to an inside cabin, Princess would refund us 100% of our fare in refundable onboard credit. And we get the inside cabin at no charge. Here's the difference between refundable and non-refundable onboard credit. Normally, if you get onboard credit, it's non-refundable. You have to use it on the ship by the end of your cruise or else you lose it. With refundable onboard credit, if any of the credit's left over at the end of your cruise, Princess will send you a check for the remainder. For instance, if you have $1,000 in refundable onboard credit and you spend $300 on drinks, specialty dining, photo packages, whatever, you'll get a check for $700 mailed to you at the end of the cruise. The move over offer sounded like a good deal, so we took it and basically got our 10 day cruise for free. On this cruise, my wife and I spent some time in the casino on the Caribbean Princess. Both of us like to play the slot machines and on this cruise, the casino treated us pretty darned well. My wife ended up with $400 in profit and I wound up ahead by $1,000. Because of this, we caught the attention of the Casino Players Club. And one night, they sent us a bottle of wine and a plate of chocolates. The next night, they gave us an offer for a free inside cabin, a few hundred dollars of casino free play, and their Princess Plus package, which included gratuities, Wi-Fi, drinks, and more. 
It seemed like a pretty good offer and we took them up on it by booking a 10-day cruise to Alaska out of San Francisco on the Ruby Princess in August of 2023. We put in a couple of bids for upgrades to either an ocean view or a balcony cabin and our bid for an ocean view cabin was accepted. It cost us a total of $150 for the upgrade. And again, remember, we did have to pay a few hundred dollars for taxes and port fees. I really don't think there is any way of avoiding those. Well, we spent some more time in the casino on the Ruby, and we did give back some of the money that we won on our last cruise, but not all of it. We must have gotten on the Players Club radar again because they gave us another offer that wasn't quite as good as the last one, but still pretty decent. It's an offer for a free inside stateroom and $200 in casino free play. There's no plus package tied in with this one, but still, it's a free stateroom. I know the naysayers are going to be saying, well, you still have to pay the taxes and port fees and gratuities and airfare and hotels and other assorted things. Absolutely, that's all part of the trip. But the actual cost of the cabin is free. And depending on where you're cruising, that cabin can cost anywhere from $700 up to a few thousand dollars per couple. So the cruise may not be entirely free, but it's better than paying full price. To recap, we got half of the cruise refunded because there were mechanical issues and I want to restate that we didn't complain about the cruise or write letters or demand a refund. We politely and honestly stated the positives and the negatives of our cruise experience and we weren't expecting to get any sort of refund or any other compensation. That being said, I really don't know if this offer was given to everybody on the cruise or just those who mentioned it in their review. The second cruise was free due to us taking the move over offer a few days before the sailing. Our third cruise was a gift from the Casino Players Club and this was our best offer so far because it included the plus package and credit we could use in the casino. Finally, right now we're sitting on another Players Club offer for an inside stateroom and a couple hundred dollars in casino credit. So I'm curious, what have your experiences been? Have you ever won a free cruise? Have other cruise lines treated you well with compensations? What cruise line do you think has the best Players Club perks? Let me know about it in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. I'm Jeff, and I'll see you on the back roads or on a future cruise.